French nibs again. I'm going to get out in the garage here and do a little tinkering. Um, this is a uh, gun you guys have seen on the channel a few times now and uh, I did some crony testing with it and it was a little bit ill. Um, it was suggested that it should be doing probably pretty close to 600 feet per second and it was only going about 305 average so I figured I would tear it down and uh, give a look at it and see what was going on with it and what I found I'll show you here in a second but uh, so what we're working on here is my BSA Scorpion and uh, here is the, the pump cylinder um, or pump plunger whatever you want to call it and it uses a rubber o-ring um, <clears throat> and then down here on the base it actually had um, like a little rubber or not rubber uh, leather washer around the back side of it and, and that was completely disintegrated and it was actually smooshing out and it was causing acting like a break uh, and, and it was very gummy uh, spongy feeling and it was acting like a break it was very difficult for me to pull this plunger out of that uh, this tube the body of the, the the pistol so but I've got it all tore apart um, and what I ended up doing was I uh, I put it back together already but I bought some of these uh, rubber flat washers and I punched one out and fit it over the post and then I put another rubber o-ring around there because I think what that is is it's just basically to act like a shock absorber so when this hits at the end it gives a little bit of bounce to the <clears throat> thing and then I fit a new o-ring in the groove and so now we're going to put this all back together um, so I want to do get some grease on this thing just so everything slides together nice and easy I don't want to get too much up in the front on the front of it because that'll cause some dieseling when we put it all together or detonation or whatever you want to call it. So we'll get this going back together. I keep this kind of in line here this that's where the cocking shoe goes so now I want to make sure and put some liberal amounts of grease on my spring here so that we don't end up with a total buzz factory on out of this thing I don't think you can add too much grease to your I like this uh, synthetic grease that I've been using on several guns here. Get a little, a little grease on my spring guide here. I might look around and see if I can find another spring for it. This one's got a little bit of a little bit of bendiness to it. I really don't like that too much, but for now it'll have to do, I guess. Okay. Get this. There it goes. So, uh, so now there's a little, a little pin that actually has to go back in there, and so I'm, I used my same little compressor deal that I made up previously. Had to make another little attachment for it. I'll show you that in a second. So you, there's not a lot of preload on this spring, but uh, I could probably do it by hand. But using a using a clamp with lots of nice control. So so actually, what I came up with was I just took a three quarter inch. quarter inch copper pipe union and, uh, and we'll just be able to 
Maybe I can do this by hand. Let me see here. Nope. So my center. I'm gonna get the clamp. It'll be a lot easier. A new clamp this one's a lot a lot beefier than the old one was nothing wrong with the old one really but um, this one will has a lot more clamping force than the old one did really no no work involved there really but this way I can Piece of copper is just spun a little bit. Just turn it a little bit to the. That ought to work really good. Not too far. So there's a little, little indentation on this pin that's supposed to captivate that. guide nests in that little groove there on that pin. If I can ever get it going in there straight. Try it from the other side. So I've never done one of these before. to the side here. So again all I did was cut a notch in a uh, three-quarter inch pipe fitting. Okay so that's all back together. Everything's lined up the way it should be in there. Um, I'm not going to keep you guys on for the, the whole put it back together part here but um, so it's pretty simple though so that's your cocking shoe this goes this goes on over top of that four screws then the body goes back on and you're done so I'm gonna cut it off and uh, I'll bring you back on for the testing shots hey there friends we're back I uh, <clears throat> Put this thing all back together and I did run some crony numbers with it and I'm still not happy with what's going on um, so I think I'm gonna have to source a spring for it it is it is a, I mean it's still running nice <laughs> it shoots very good um, just the power is really low on it so I guess I'm gonna have to source a spring but one thing that do it, tearing this thing down and clean it all up did improve um, the cocking effort on this is just so much, so much less. So, um, even even with that cocking aid, it's, it took quite a bit of work to uh, to cock it before, and now it's I can even do it do it by hand without uh, without too much effort. So, but anyway, so. There you go. Um, did make some improvements to it, um, and it still seems to be shooting really accurate. I did shoot a couple of bullseyes off target, uh, off camera, but uh, I have some uh, screen captures of the. 
I did test with some 7.0 grain and some 8.86 grain pellets and they're both averaging right around 300 still so <clears throat> but uh, I did did find some information online that suggested that it really should be around a 400 foot per second gun so my spring isn't in as bad a shape as I thought um, I did find one other website that suggested it should be uh, above 500 but uh, I, I don't find any other I found several references to around the 500 uh, or around the 400 uh, feet per second so we'll uh, try to find a spring for this guy and uh, but for now it's still fun to shoot so <laughs> even if it's only running 300 um, I'm sure that'll be more than enough to punch a can and shoots a target real well so but anyway so there you go uh, there my first attempt at tearing down the BSA scorpion probably won't be the last but uh, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did like share and subscribe and until next time have a great day.